So this is a couple of ways to show the expansion of the foam and how the moisture uh, gets into the foam and evaporates through the backing. This is artificial exudate. I will pour it on my small dish. So this is a wound with exudate. We put on the foam and it will immediately start to get into the wound. To simplify how the water will get into the foam and expand through the backing with a bandage on top of that, I will put on a bit of compression. If we are in a situation where we don't have the dish, where we only have the foam, I can do the same. This is uh, just some, some artificial exudate, but you can use water, you can use whatever liquid that you have. You pour it on gently onto the foam, and it starts to enter the foam. have to break the surface like this to simulate a wound. Already now you can see how it starts to expand. I will turn it around just on the packaging and again I will put on the paper and I will try to simulate compression. Now you can leave it on for as long as you like and you can take a peek uh, within 10 minutes or 15 minutes, whatever time it takes. So now some time has passed. We can take a look how it, how it shows. You can clearly see that there's been some water evaporating out of the backing. When I lift this one out you can also clearly see that the um, foam has expanded accordingly to uh, the cavity and has lifted up like this. If you had a wound which has, uh, not very often the wounds are completely circled, so you can see that there will be some, some differences in the wound. If I don't have a shape like this. We take a look at the other part. You can also again see clearly that exactly on out of the backing some water has been evaporating and you can see that uh, clearly on the paper. This is the paper has been absorbing some of the water. And also here you can see that the water. Now this has been expanding a little bit also to the sides, but uh, uh, the absorption in the foam has been uh, very quickly. Usually it takes a bit longer time than if you just pour on some water. So our foam is built up with two different kind of foams. We have the five millimeter um, foam. It's a hydrophilic foam. That means that it absorbs the exudate and it uh, transport the exudate directly vertically up into the foam and up through the backing. The backing is also a polyurethane foam but it's a semi-permeable foam. That means that water will be absorbed by the foam and evaporated through the backing. You have bacteria; they cannot enter into the foam and water, it's also water repellent from the outside. You can see it here, it will not be absorbed when you put on some foam, uh, some water. Air is permitted to go both ways, both in and out of the foam.